So that's what all of you were doing with that meat discussion earlier. <laughs> the majority of you were justifying. You were trying to justify why you want to keep doing it. Why you want to hold on to a hard heart. You're justifying it. And it's okay, you're allowed to. As long as you want. But you're not going to be at one with God that way. That's all. Do you really want to be at one with God or not? So. Certainly. Why do you think there's so many bowel issues and problems nowadays in the world? And why do you think there's so many physical problems in these lower two chakra areas, for example? Of course we suffer. Yes. All suffering is the result of us breaking laws of love. So it's not got to do with that we're not actually meant to ingest meat? It's like not. Are we made as humans to eat meat or not? No, no, we're not made to eat meat. Even animals are not made to eat meat. Many of them are carrion. Like when, a, when an animal has died, they clean up other animals. But, but for our, us ourselves, we can eat anything we want. But the truth is, what is the most loving thing to do? Right? What's the most, where is the love in it? Right? And it's the love in it that determines whether it is in harmony with God or not, in the end. Doesn't it? Mm. Yeah. So we can justify all we like, but all we're doing is we're justifying ourselves staying in our same state that we currently are. That's all we're doing. Do you want to keep doing that? Well, you're allowed to. <laughs> if you want to, you're allowed to. Right? Do you want to keep doing that? Keep doing it if you want to. But you're going to pay penalties for that inside of yourself. Every time you break laws of love, there is internal harm that you're generating. And you will feel the pain of that at some point in the future, whether it's now or after you pass. And most of us are already experiencing the pain of that right in this instant. So even the guilt you feel when I talk about meat, that is the pain you feel. Do you follow me? Yeah, that's the pain you're feeling. Allow yourself to feel it, like it's okay. It's just a feeling. Feel it and work on what's underneath it. Why do you feel so attached to this meat? Let yourself go there and let yourself feel that emotion. And when you release that emotion, you find you won't want to eat that again. You see on one of the DVDs that animals don't have souls. No. And that was a question I was going to ask yesterday about that, but um, I've been conveniently told myself, well, it doesn't really matter. Yep. So what uh, it's a different question, I suppose. What drives animals? If, like, I, I think of the soul as being the thing that. What um, drives an animal is your soul. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, because sometimes they seem like people. Yeah, they are completely reflecting the emotional condition of the closest owners, or in the case of wild animals, the entire human collective condition. Mm. Right. So, so what drives the animal is your soul. Your your animal is responding to your soul, constantly. Right. So the soul is the power that sort of moves the physical body in the human. The soul so is the power that, that is behind the spirit body as well. Yep. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking 3D in the meat context now. Right. So the human flesh keeps moving because you've got the soul. Yes, and moving. keeps growing and keeps changing and keeps the genetic structure is maintained and all the organs are maintained, all via the soul. So it's all via the human souls that the flesh of the animals can move. Exactly. Exactly. So, like, in the future, how many of you have had an animal die and you've been really, really sad about that? In the future, the animal will live as long as you do. The only reason why an animal doesn't live as long as you do if it's your pet is because you have emotions in you that it's reflecting about death. You follow me? Yeah? But if an animal doesn't have a soul then, doesn't it have any pain when it gets killed then? Uh, the physical body and the spirit body still experience pain. Yeah, that, that's immaterial. They are they are organisms, just like any other organism that experiences pain. But the, but they don't. The, it's the soul condition that, that of a human that the animal is constantly responding to. So, for example, how many of you have got an animal that's been really badly hurt when it was little, and it's never forgotten that hurt? Yeah, quite a few mm -hmm. quite a few times that seems to happen. The reason why is it's still connected to its own to its original owner's pain. Right? 
and it will not release it unless that original owner releases it. When you say project love, if I'm not already being love, then I'm not projecting love. Okay, well, say you were in a state if I was in a state of at one moment with God, I wouldn't be eaten by a shark, no. Joe, I've got an amazing example of what you were just saying. Can I stop this discussion though? Okay. Because I want to connect to <laughs> some more things here. And and we've only got another, what, quarter of an hour or so. So I want to keep going if I can. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay, so internal tools of denial. What other ones are there? Intellectualised. Intellectualised. Big thing we do. Inside of ourselves we go, oh, but... And then away we go. And we do this all the time. You know, with this discussion about me, we've been doing it, just intellectualising it, not feeling it. See, if you were feeling it, you wouldn't even have the arguments. Can you see that? Like, how many of you would get an animal right in front of you, get your dog, your pet dog, slit its throat? Right? How many of you could even bear to do that? Right? Now, I've only had, in all the audiences I've said that to, there's only been one fellow who put his hand up. Whoa. Right? And because he eats dogs. Right? Right? And, but he was more honest than all of you. You know that? All of you who are eating meat, he was more honest than. You know why? But if, I mean, if you have, he's more honest than that. Why is that? He's experiencing because, emotions. Because he was willing to do his own dirty work and not make somebody else do it. Do you think there's more penalties getting someone else to do your own dirty work? Of course there is. Do you follow me? Yeah. So he was actually willing to do his own dirty work, so he was being more honest. Right? The fact that we get other people to do this work for us is just hardening our own heart to the whole process. So let yourself feel about that. 